Introduction A look at 52 women in scripture. You will see more than just some women who lived thousands of years ago. You might see yourself as we study their stories and immerse ourselves in their lives. You will see more places where our lives intersect with theirs. Women of the Bible, 52 Bible Studies for Individuals and Groups, presents 52 Women of Scripture. Beginning with a concise description of the woman, then continuing with her story from Scripture and something about her life and times, each woman's story ends with a study asking the challenging questions. How does her life mirror yours? What did she learn or experience that you as a God follower need to learn or experience? What event or relationship or crisis in her life reveals something about you? Even more than that, each study will help you discover how God is revealing himself to you through that woman's story. We encourage you as an individual or group not to pass over the questions that are hard or make you uncomfortable. The women of God's word have much to offer you, but only if you face them openly and honestly. I hope and pray that women of the Bible, 52 Bible studies for individuals and groups will lead you as an individual or group into a more profound love of God's word and its truth in your life. May the examples set by these women so many years ago shine the light of God's presence on the pathway of your life today. Jean Sisworda, April 2002, Genesis 2 verses 7, 15 to 20 NIV. 7 Then the Lord God formed a man, c. from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. 15 The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. 16 And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden. 17 But you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it you will certainly die. 19 Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them, and whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. 20 So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds and who have life. Her character, she came into the world perfectly at peace with her God and her husband, the only other person on the planet. She lived in paradise, possessing every pleasure imaginable. She never knew the meaning of embarrassment, misunderstanding, hurt, estrangement, envy, bitterness, grief, or guilt until she listened to her enemy and doubted God. Key Scriptures, Genesis 1 verses 26-31, Genesis 2-4 The man gave names to all the livestock, the birds of the air, and all the beasts of the field. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So, the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep, and while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and closed the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman, for she was taken out of the man. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united with his wife, and they will become one flesh. The man and his wife were both naked, and they felt no shame. Now the serpent was craftier than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. You will not surely die, the serpent said to the woman. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the tree's fruit was good for food and pleasing to the eye and desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some, and they ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they realized they were naked. So they sewed thick leaves together and made coverings for themselves. So, the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, curses you above all the livestock and all the wild animals. You will crawl on your belly, and you will eat dust all the days of your life. Genesis 2 23, Genesis 3, verses 20-2 NIV 20 Adam, A, named his wife Eve, B, B, 
because she would become the mother of all the living. 21. The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. 22. And the Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat, and live forever. 23. So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. 24. After he drove the man out, he placed on the east side, C, of the Garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the Tree of Life. Genesis, chapter 2, verses 21 to 25. 21. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep, and while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs, A, and then closed up the place with flesh. 22. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib, B, he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. 23. The man said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. 24. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. 25. Adam and his wife were both naked, and they felt no shame. What the Bible says about marriage, King James Version, Life Application Study Bible. Genesis 2 verses 18 to 24, Marriage is God's Idea. Genesis 24 verses 58 to 60, Commitment is essential to a successful marriage. Genesis 29 verses 10 and 11, Romance is important. Jeremiah 7 verse 34, Marriage holds time of great joy. Matthew 19 verse 6, Marriage is permanent. Romans 7 verses 2 and 3, Ideally, only death should dissolve marriage. Ephesians 5 verses 21 to 33, Marriage is based on the principled practice of love, not on feelings. Hebrews 13 verse 4, Marriage is good and Genesis 3 verses 1 to 5. 3 Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from any tree in the garden? 2 The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden. 3 But God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. For you will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman. 5. For God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Genesis 3 verse 6 NIV 6. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Genesis 3 verses 12 to 19 NIV New International Version 12. The man said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. 13. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. 14. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this. Cursed are you above all livestock. And all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly. And you will eat dust. All the days of your life. 15. And I will put enmity. Between you and the woman. And between your offspring, A, and hers. He will crush, B, your head. And you will strike his heel. 16. To the woman he said. I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labor you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband. And he will rule over you. 17. To Adam he said, Because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil you will eat food from it. All the days of your life. 18. It will produce thorns and thistles for you. And you will eat the plants of the field. 19. By the sweat of your brow. You will eat your food. Until you return to the ground. Since from it you were taken. For dust you are. And to dust you will return. Genesis 3, verses 20-2 NIV 
20 Adam, A, named his wife Eve, B, because she would become the mother of all the living. 21 The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. 22 And the Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat, and live forever. 23 So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. 24 After he drove the man out, he placed on the east side, C, of the Garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the Tree of Life. Genesis chapter 4 verses 1 and 2 Cain and Abel 1 Adam, A, made love to his wife Eve, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. B, she said, with the help of the Lord I have brought forth, C, a man. Two later she gave birth to his brother Abel. Now Abel kept flocks, and Cain worked the soil. Eve's Personality Profile We know very little about Eve, the first woman in the world, yet she is the mother of us all. She was the final piece in the intricate and amazing puzzle of God's creation. Adam now had another human being to fellowship with, someone with an equal share in God's image. Here was someone alike enough for companionship, yet different enough for a relationship. Together they were greater than either could have been alone. Eve was approached by Satan in the Garden of Eden, where she and Adam lived. He questioned her contentment. How could she be happy when she was not allowed to eat from one of the fruit trees? Satan helped Eve shift her focus from all God had done and given to the one thing he had withheld. Eve was willing to accept Satan's viewpoint without checking with God. Sound familiar? How often is our attention drawn from the much which is ours to the little that isn't? We get that I've got to have it feeling. Eve was typical of us all, and we consistently show we are all descendants by repeating her mistakes. Our desires, like Eve's, can be quite easily manipulated. They are not the best basis for actions. We need to always keep God in our decision-making process. His Word, the Bible, is our guidebook in decision-making. Strengths and Accomplishments, First Wife and Mother First Female She shared a special relationship with God, had corresponsibility with Adam over creation, and displayed certain characteristics of God. Weaknesses and mistakes allowed her contentment to be undermined by Satan. Acted impulsively without talking either to God or to her mate. Not only sin, but she shared her sin with Adam when confronted and blamed others. Lessons from her life, the female shares in the image of God. The necessary ingredients for a strong marriage are commitment to each other, companionship, complete oneness, and absence of shame, Genesis 2 verses 24 and 25. The basic human tendency to sin goes back to the beginning of the human race. Vital Statistics, Where, Garden of Eden, Occupation, Wife, Helper, Companion, Co-Manager of Eden, Relatives, Husband, Adam, Sons, Cain, Abel, Seth, Adam, and numerous other children. Key Verse, And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone, I will make him a help meet for him, Genesis 2 verse 18. Her story is told in Genesis 2 verse 18 through 426. Her death is not mentioned in scripture. Our life and times. Women throughout the centuries have borne the results of Eve's sin. Their pain in childbearing unites them in a common bond of an experience shared. The experience is an unusual combination of the earthly and, at the same time, the unearthly. The pains, the panting, the mess and disorder connected with the birth of a child are the earth of Eve herself. But what is brought forth in the bond between the mother and the child of this experience is unearthly, something only the creator of life could forge. What are your final thoughts on women bearing the results of Eve's sin? Next week's Bible study will be on Sarah, Abraham's first wife. It's my hope you will have time to watch. If you have any questions or comments, contact me, Lydia Ward, Church Secretary at Willow Praise Church, 32901, Vine Street, Willowick, Ohio, 44095. Email, secretary at willowpraise.org.
Facebook, Willow Praise Church. Phone, 440-944-5683.